Good evening, folks. Micro update here on the story you expect, but probably not what you expect to hear. Cumbre Vieja went off today on the Palma, and many of you have been worried about it. We had reminded you earlier this week that the quakes were small, and that they get quake swarms and even have volcanic eruptions every few decades, and that it hadn't yet been enough to let loose the western half of the island and set a tsunami towards the east coast of the Americas. This week, the earthquake swarm was actually smaller than usual, even though there were a lot of them, and that indicates that the eruption was going to be small and a release of a small flow of magma. And that's exactly what has happened today. We had very small earthquakes, a very small explosion, and now that the lava is flowing, the main pressure release valve is open. I realize this is a scary situation on a scary island with scary potential, but just like the quakes and the explosion so far, the flow is slow and relatively small. The 1971 eruption was bigger. It destroyed homes and a beach and lasted for 33 days. There was another in 1949 and a number of others in the 1700s, 1600s, and 1500s. The 1990s 6.4 earthquake had no volcanic component at all. Folks, believe it or not, this is exactly what you would hope to see if the magma has to come up to the crust. If the earthquakes kick back in and they get bigger, then you know bigger magma intrusion and bigger eruptions are coming. For now, if the quakes don't ramp back up at these vents, we can all step back off the cliff knowing this is not the big one either, just another one of what happens once or twice a century at this volcano. And yes, we will be watching for those bigger quakes because we are always watching for the bigger quakes at La Palma. So far, they haven't happened. And what you really need to understand is if we are going to get this magma intrusion, as we do about once or twice a century at this volcano, this is exactly what you want to see.